All right. Last one of today. You guys want to look at me in this shirt and all this stuff again. I'm going to go ahead and do my review of my beer, my Urilo Hop. And that is it here. So um, it's got some age on it at this point, but I I don't I don't I don't know how much that's really affected it, but um, I do like it. I do like it. But all right, my initial thoughts on it. Um, it's got some spice to it. I can't say I didn't do any prior um, looking for information on the internet before I did this with, with this particular hop. So I kind of got my formed conclusions and I've got some things that I, probably preconceived notions of what this should be and what it is. So let's see. Um, when I brew day, we'll go through brew day and we'll go through a few things. I'm going to keep this short. Um, when I first initially opened up the hops and smelled them, I, it, the hop that came to mind was Simcoe. It smelled, it, it smelled almost, I smell almost exactly like Simcoe to me. Um, but that being said, it didn't smell like Simcoe once, once it came out of primary, went into secondary and dry hop. That was different. Um, I think... This beer, when I transferred to secondary and did the three ounces of dry hops, I'm the aroma was was there a little bit more than what it is after I after I transferred into keg. So on this beer, I'm not particularly getting a lot of aroma. I haven't ever gotten a lot of aroma. I've got some 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 kind of peppery flavors to it but um i'm not getting i should according to flavor profile aroma and flavor flavor profile from the interwebs i should be getting banana pear orange and spicy which pear now that i now that i've read that i i can get that now uh banana no orange not at all uh spicy yeah as i said pepper i'm kind of getting that but i'm getting I'm getting almost like a tea-like astringency from it. Um, I don't think it's an off flavor from the beer. Um, it's like a, um, I don't know if you guys have ever had the 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 Stone collaboration when it had the uh, the fresh green tea in it. It was that type of flavor, but not quite as intense as a Stone. Um, it's not off-putting at all. Um, it's enjoyable. I do like that hop. Um, um, I, I I read somewhere and, and I was just looking for it. Um, someone had, had created a description of the hop and said it's not an IPA hop. And I would say you are probably correct there. Um, as far as being a single hop IPA hop, no, I think it's I think it's 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 not quite. It's not meeting what I want in my palate. It's not. It's not there. I, I want something that's gonna grab me and let me know it's there, and it's gonna it's gonna punch me in the face when I smell it and and all that stuff. But I think I think typically as a as a home brewer, I think we all look at that, and that's that's how we kind of want our beers to be. We want something that it's gonna be commercial quality, and that's what we strive for. Um, not saying that our beers are not, because I, I think that's a false statement, because I think many of the beers that, that we make, um, you know, probably could be commercial quality, giving, give or take a little bit of, uh, tweaking and a little bit of, uh, refining, we'll say, but, you know, um, uh, let's see, a little bit of history, it's, uh, 15 to 17 percent alpha, uh, 6 percent to 7 and a half percent beta, um, it is a Slavic god of fertility and springtime. That is the origins of the name. And me having three children, I don't need to help with fertility. Um, the, the wife has taken care of that, so I will no longer be having children. So, and I know, guys, give me a hard time because I didn't get the old vasectomy. So go ahead and hit me. I don't, I've heard it, I've heard it, and I've heard it, and I've heard it, and I've heard it. I'm immune to the jokes, I'm immune to the criticism, you know. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, let's see. Um, so those are my thoughts. Um, it's not a super 
bitter hop. Although you think 15 to 17%, it should be. But it's a it's a pleasant bitter. It's not a it's not a a bitter where you want to take and uh, scrape your tongue. So, um, having said that, um, I think this this hop definitely would pair better with friends. I think it needs it needs some help. Um, is it IPA double IPA worthy? I don't know. I think it'd be a damn fine just a regular pale. I think that would be really good. Um, there's it's 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 got some complexity to it um, because it's it's not you're not getting just full on fruit flavors. You're not getting full on banana, pear, orange spice. You're getting some spice, not not quite like a rye type pepper or it, it's not that kind of spice but there's something there's something there that makes you kind of think man what what is that it, it, it kind of still that's kind of where i'm at with it it's a good beer i mean i love it um would i make a smash out of it yeah i would i would definitely do a smash um would i smash it seven percent probably not i'd probably keep it five percent i probably I would probably mash probably a little high on this one um, to try to get some malt flavor into it. But anyway, you know, that's, that's my thoughts. Um, I think it'd be a really good smash. Yeah, I do. Um, but a single hop IPA verging on double IPA, I, I don't know. The nose isn't there for me, but that's my opinion for what it's worth. Um, well, I'm going to uh, move on, and I'm going to call it quits for today, and uh, look forward to seeing everybody else's reviews, and um, hey, call me out, tell me I'm a liar, whatever you want to, I mean, it's my opinion, um, look forward to you guys' opinions too, thanks, see you, bye!